the same first name or the same surname. In which case, apply the equity then come and true. Okay, next one. Next one. Can I? Okay, skip not on it. Okay, this does not apply here. Okay, next one. Uh, what if si Duterte incumbent? Okay, niya dunay Duterte nga dili incumbent. Nagkontra sila for punong barangay. Ang nakasuwat is only Duterte. The vote goes to the incumbent. Again, ang rason nga dunay equity the incumbent rule is kung ang apelyedro daw imong gibutang, chances are imo yung intention is ang incumbent because number one, the incumbent is more popular. And number two, the incumbent has been delivering basic services to the people. So exactly why it's called equity the incumbent rule. Pero, kung di full name sa butante, doon ay first name, na dili incumbent, not to na sa kompleto nga pangalan. Okay, next one. <clears throat> Kanin, si Legarda incumbent sa. Karon doon na po'y babae nga namin yung Legarda nga dili incumbent. Where does the vote go? It goes to Legarda the incumbent. Next one. Kani, mao na niya ang atong Idemsonance rule. Pananglit, ang iyang pagbutang is Rodrigo Dotter E. Di ba? Wrong spelling, pero kung imo ba sound, Dotter T sounds like Duterte counted di hapon in favor of Duterte. Okay? Now, what if Rodrigo Duter lang? Wala yung isa ka-syllable. Sounds like Duterte di hapon counted di hapon in favor of Duterte. What if ang Lenny Robredo, gihimo nga Lene Robredo, okay? Sounds like Count of Yapon. Then Ferdinand Marcus, sounds like wrong spelling Count of Yapon. Do we follow? Yes. Unsa may rason na ni? Because we need to accommodate the intent of the voters. Kay doon na gihimo mga butante who could not even correctly spell their own names. How much more the names of the candidates? So that's why we need to salvage the intent by virtue of the item sound and soul. Next one. Oh, can you put, balik sa. Ang butante, balik sa pali ko. Oh, that one. In the same line, ha, the same line, sa punong barangay, ang butante could not decide kin sa gilid ni Marcos o ni Robredo yung butaran. So yan di sa what? Marcos, Robredo, in the same line. Okay? Now, who gets the vote? General rule, nobody gets the vote except where one of them is incumbent who served for at least one year. In which case, the vote goes to the incumbent. Okay? Kung doon na incumbent. Kung wala incumbent, nobody gets the vote because the voter was not able to make up his mind. Okay? Next one. Sige, taray na. Natuta saan. Oh, kanin po na nitabo, for Barangay Kagawad, ang yung isuwat, Moreno, Moreno, Moreno. No problem if there are three candidates by the surname Moreno. Meaning, everybody gets one vote. Correct? Pero what if Duhara ka Moreno ang kandidato? So, di ba? They get one vote each. Unsa may hitabo sa ikatulong ng Moreno. Are they going to share that? 0.5? No, because there is no fractional voting. The third Moreno is a stray vote. What if upat ka Moreno ang gibutang, niya duha ka Moreno ang kandidato? Are they entitled to two votes? The answer is no. A candidate is entitled only to one vote from one ballot. That's it. What if ang usa nila is incumbent, ang usa dili? Okay? They still get one vote each. Okay? Next one. Di ba doon ay mga tao nga ang pangalan niya Rodrigo? Pero kanang nga Rodrigo can also be a family name of another person. So what if first name sa usa ka kandidato, then surname sa usa ka kandidato? Niyang gibutang is only Rodrigo. Who gets the vote? Rodrigo the surname because of primacy of the surname rule. Priority and surname over the first name or the nickname. Okay? Next one. Oh, kanipod, tiba niya, Iyan na po gi-combine, Ferdinand Robredo. Huwag na po siya maka-decide. Remember earlier we said, kung gi-combine mo ang puro apelyedo in the same line, the incumbent gets the vote. But in this case, pag first name and family name sa kandidato, yan gi-combine in one line, nobody gets the vote, even if one of them is incumbent. 
and nobody gets the vote, even if one of them is incumbent. Because again, the voter was not able to make up his mind. Ang pwede na malaw is both apelyendo and one of them is incumbent. <clears throat> Next one. Sige pa. Oh, can I put? Ang hitabo is, grabe ka diehard ang botante. Ang kandidato si Rodrigo Duterte for punong barangay, iyan gisuwat, no problem. Pero pag sa kagawan, iyan ang pagibutaran, nga dili man siya kandidato for kagawan. What happens there? Rodrigo for punong barangay is counted for kagawad is a stray vote. Okay, not counted. Next one. Oh, Pananglit ka na eh. Iyang isuwat Rodrigo Duterte. Iyang gi-erase, gilisan niya Marojas. Ang iyang pag-erase, it means that at the last minute, he changed his mind. So who gets the vote? Marojas. Because that is the latest intention. Di follow? Doon ay usa ka, doon ay usa ka kaso ni Abud Gidug Supreme Court. Kaya ba mo sa nahitabo? Gisuwat niya ang pangalan sa kandidato, iyang gi-erase. Karoon niyang gi-ilisan ng bago, pero iyang gisumpayan, sorry. Okay, so karoon ang mga maestra na yun sila na Mark Balot. Kaya nga nung doon ay sorry, di man na siya kandidato. Ilang gi-mark ang Balot, so not counted, it's invalidated. Pero pag abot sa Supreme Court, the Supreme Court said, Pwede lang ihapon because the word sorry there is actually just an apology for having caused the inconvenience to the electoral board. Okay? So, careful sa go pag mark sa ballot. Next one. Kani po, di ba? Kani nga itong mga butante, well, grabe ni sila ka-creative, di ba? Ang complete name sa kandidato is Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Pero pag butar, sa'yo po yun ang initial X Duterte, Rodrigo X Duterte, Rodrigo X. Can that be counted? Yes. Pag initial lang ang sayo. Unless there's another candidate with the same initial and surname, in which case it goes to that candidate. Next one. Next one. Uh, can I put? What if si Lila Dilima is a candidate? Karon doon na kay Kailang akaparehan niyang pangalan. Lila Dilima, imong silingan yun. So, Karon, you're going to say, ay, stray vote, Nikki, what if ngayon pasabot ang akong silingan? Okay? The answer there is, do not think about your silingan because he is not a candidate. Ang atong i-focus lang, kanin si Lila Dilima ho is a candidate. Do you follow? Next one. Oh, ballot which contain prefixes such as Sir, Mr. Dato, Don Ginoo, Honorable Gob, or suffixes like Iho, Junior, Segundo, or Valid. Like for example, pagbotar niya, yan siya, BP, Lenny, Press, Digo, Go, Gwen. Pwede. Count it. Next one. <clears throat> Kana po, di ba? Dili na nila nickname ang Inday of Idol, pero gipun ang yun sa botante. Inday Sara, Idol Robin. Can that be counted? Yes. Okay. Next one. Oh, kana. What if nickname lang ang gibutan? Digong, Lenny, or Bongbong? Can that be counted? Yes, counted siya. Okay. Pero what if ang nickname na Lenny is also the first name of another candidate? Who gets the vote? The first name. Kaya mas maglabaw ang first name. Unless one of them is incumbent, in which case it goes to the incumbent. Next one. Oh, what if initials lang, BBM or GMA? Can that be counted? The answer is no. Unless the, nick, unless the initials are the nickname of the candidate. Like GMA before, di ba? 2004 elections. Yung gigamit ang GMA. That's your nickname? Pwede. Okay, so kaning nickname, what happens there is, doon yung mga kandidato nga pag file lang si OC sa Pomelec, ilang gidaghan ilang nicknames. Uh, with the hope nga tanang variation sa ilang pangalan, ilang masuyo pang vote. Pero the rule is, kung panalit isuwat nila daghan nga nicknames, the first that was written, mora na yung isuwat, not to sa certified list of candidates. For example, the name is Ricardo. Karon si Ricardo, ang yung nickname is Ricky. Iyang ibutang Ricky. Pero yung isumpayan, Cardo, Carding, etc. No? So karon ang nakabutang Ricky lang. Now, what if ang isuwat is Carding? Okay? Pero pagtangan ni mo, Ricky man siya. Now, what if ikaw may ngon, dili o iyahan na kay silingan may anak, gamay pa na, karding yun na siya, ambot ganit nga nung nag riki, -riki na na siya. Okay. So now, if you're going to decide based on your personal knowledge, don't because you're showing your bias. Limit only to what appears on the 
certified list of candidates. You cannot say, kailak wana silinga mi, karbing na sa gagmay pa mi. Okay, you cannot say that because that's bias. But, you can probably count Cardo from Ricardo because of item so and so. Diba? Pwede. Even if wala niya gi-assign as iyang nickname. Do you follow? Okay. Next one. Oh, kani po, kani lagi nga itong mga butante. Mabuot-buot yun. Ang kandidato Ferdinand Marcos, himuwag yun nga Ferdinand Magellan. Sarah Duterte, himuwag yun nga Sarah Jeronimo. Stray vote not counted. Not counted, ha? Okay, next one. Oh, any ballot written with crayon, lead, pencil, or ink shall be valid. Valid daw, ha? Magpa-unique yun. Ano magdagi ng crayon, no? We don't lock for ball pens sa kamala. Okay, so what? The rule is very specific. It's allowed. Then, where there are two or more candidates voting for in an office for which the law authorizes election of one, okay, kanin, punong barangay, wak na saan siya maka-decide. Iyan kibutang Lenny Robredo, then Bongbong Marcos. Not on the same line, ha, ganina ang ato examples the same line. Kanin, the voter still was not able to make up his mind. Nobody gets the vote. Okay, wak siya maka-decide. Okay, next one. Sige, panahin lang. <clears throat> oh, what if sa barangay Kagawan, mauna yung ibutara, no? Robredo Marcos Duterte Rojas Po Binay Moreno Villar. Di ba 7 na kabuok? Karon 8 ang gisawa. Okay? We count the first 7. So, di ba? Please do not alphabetize. Ah, Maayar wag kayo ng mga teachers ma-alphabetize. Okay? Count according to its order of appearance in the ballot. The first seven, ang ika-8, strain na to siya. Okay, next one. Kanin, remember Claudia Buenavista. Pangako sa'yo, di ba? Oh. Si Claudia Buenavista sa teleserye ni Lanzar, di ba? Politiko to siya. So pag-election, gibutaran din si Claudia Buenavista, di ba? Now, maybe nagbinuwa ang botante or maybe the botante was not able to tell fact from fiction. Huwag mo kabantay, daghay mo to sa teleserya nga tinuod. Na ay mga nga na, daghan raba na sila. So ilang ibutan ng si Claudia Buenavista? It is a stray vote. Unless you consider it as a mark ballot. O niya, mag-isulot ang mark ballot ha. Stray vote siya, not counted. Next one. Balik sa. A ballot containing the name of a candidate printed and pasted on a blank space. Before, no, kadumdum ko sa una, di ba, on the day of elections, mag-distribute ng sample ballots. Doon ay mag-distribute ng stickers. Kanagang may rakayang yung imong tang-tango niya ay paste on sa ballot. That is not allowed because that's a mechanical process of voting. It renders the entire ballot null and void. So, bawal siya. Next one. <clears throat> Circles, crosses, or lines put in the spaces in which the voter has not voted shall be considered. Kanin. Ganin na, di ba? Ang botante, dagang siya gibotaran 8. Karun po, dagang yung gibotaran tulo lang. Kaya ingon ang botante, taas kong standard. Kanirang ni Pasar, Robredo Marcos Duterte. So, ang ikaupat, yung gi XXX. Okay? That's allowed because ang XXX kunor dash 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 is an indication that the voter did not want to vote any further. Desistance from voting. And they also say, ila po na yung XXX kaya basig sumpayan sa maestra. Okay? <laughs> Next one. Oh, unless it should be clear, yo. Kana kuno do nay mga sami sami lang, TJ, etc. Okay ra daw na siya. Okay, next one. <clears throat> Any ballot which clearly appears to have been filled by two distinct persons before it was deposited in the ballot box during the voting is totally null and void. Pero careful lang na, kay but pasabot daw duha ka tawo ni votes sa usa ka balota. Null and void. But careful kay but what if ang botante si senior citizen? Yan, ingon siya nga, Dili, ay, ako ra, ako ra butang. So, siya yun, sa punong barangay, usa pa lang kalitra, two minutes na. Dugay kay siya, pero nahuman yun niya ang punong barangay, pero ni surrender si Lolo, ay siya, sige, assistor na lang. So, but pasabot, the punong barangay na suwat ni Lolo, ang assistor lahi nga agit. Two distinct handwriting, supposedly na lang boy, pero if there was an assistor, allow that, count that. Okay, next one. Any vote cast in favor of the candidate? Okay, pananglit. Doon ay kandidato nga disqualified na di ay. Make sure that the disqualification is by final judgment. So, makadawat mo ano of notice gikan sa inyong election officer. Pag may unang election officer nga final and executory na siya, then all the votes obtained by that disqualified candidate is going to be strained and not counted. 
kung final and executory. Okay? Next one. Ballot solely written in Arabic. Pananglit, doon na nagsuwat ng Arabic. Can that be accepted? Yes, but in the armed area. Muslim in the know. May na sila mag-Arabic. What about here? Pag mag-Arabic sila, it is not counted. But what if one of the electoral board would say, okay naman, kamo o kumubasa ng Arabic? Okay? Can that be allowed? It cannot be allowed kay ang duha di liman makabasa. Okay. So what if ang duha mo yun? Kabasa may. Puro may kabasa. Can that be done? The answer is still no because si chairman pa nang lit di kabasa and the watchers don't understand. So di giha po na dawaton si Arabic. Okay? Next one. The accidental tearing or perforation of the ballot does not annul it and Failure to remove the detachable coupon from a ballot does not annul it. Diba? Doon ay detachable coupon. What if ano yung matangtang? Okay lang. It does not affect the integrity of the ballot. <clears throat> Next one. Oh, kanay ha? Okay, lalis sa... Dagi maglalis sa ano? Neighborhood rule. Diba? Okay, bawa naman ano eh. What if sa punong barangay, blanco. Pero pagabot sa kagawad, si Robredo nga mo ay kandidato for punong barangay, gibutang as number one. Then followed by the seven kagawads. Marcos Duterte Rojas Po Moreno Binay Villar. Can that be counted in favor of Robredo? Why not? Pwede because of neighborhood rule. Meaning, nasaag lang ang butante. Kay number one Robredo is a candidate for punong barangay. Nabutang lang sa first line. So, counted by virtue of the neighborhood rule. Now, take note, ah. Neighborhood rule is not found in the general instructions. Where do you find that? It is found in the case decided by the Supreme Court, Lidias versus H. Red. Okay? So, panaglit doon ay abogado, mudungol sa inyo, ma'am, ngano na neighborhood rule na mo? Number one is, is that lawyer even allowed to be in the polling place? Pag daily allowed, pagawasa, ayaw pagiglalis. Okay? What if what siya siya, lawyer? Pwede. Okay? So, yes, attorney, wala man na siya sa Omnibus Election Code, wala sa GI, tinood na. Pero naan na sa jurisprudence decided by the Supreme Court. Okay? So, karon question. What if si Robredo Mapunong Barangay gin number two, si Marcos na Kagawad gin number one? Can that be counted? It cannot be counted kay din na siya silingan. Okay? Katura nga blank and immediately after gisuwat ang pangalan sa Punong Barangay. Now, what if <clears throat> kaneng na hitabok? Punong barangay blank, number one kagawad blank, then number two si Robredo nga, kandidato for punong barangay. Can that be counted? Uh, it cannot be counted by virtue of neighborhood rule, pero it can still be counted by virtue of the correct sequence rule. Okay, now, ang correct sequence rule is, bahala wala siya mabutang kung asa dapat nakabutang na blank. Basta nagsunod lang, kapitan o kagawad nagsunod, count them accordingly. Pananglit, ang butante, di ba? Doon na mag ang butante nga magbuot-buot. Ang atong balaw, tatubangan, doon na ginay punong barangay, blank. Kagawad, blank, 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 blank. Pero ganahan yun siya sa luyong usuat. Sa luyong gibisuat. Can that be counted? Yes, provided in sakto ang order of appearance. Meaning, ang kandidato sa punong barangay na kuna, followed by the seven kagawad. So, what pasabot, it could either be Neighborhood rule or correct sequence rule. Okay? Now, maghisgo ta sa atong mark ballot. Kung sa maraming mark ballot, okay? Ang buhat to ninyo before you actually appreciate the ballots, di ba? Tangtamo na ninyo, tanan. Kuhaon ninyo, tanan. Ihan ay. Hundred, 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 di ba? Before you count, tanawa tanang ballots kada usap kung doon na may marking. Kung sa maraming marking. It's like this, oh. Di ba? Panangalit, ako ang leader ni Kapp. Then, on the eve of election, the night before election, gi tapok tamo because you are voters for this particular polling place. Then, I'm going to say, sige, na marahig si Kap na kung pwede ato siyang tabangan sa election. So, doon na siya ipauna, tapos galibo mong tanan. Tapos galibo ha. Now, how do we know na nibuntar mo ni Kap? Okay, so kaniya itong buhaton. Ma'am, panalit si Mama kung unahon. Ibutang ang pangalan ni Kap, but after sa pangalan, puni yung tulog heart. Heart, heart, heart. So, mo ni Timailan nga dibutar ka ni Kapitan. So, karon pag-abot sa ballot appreciation, si Watcher magkatang na, Uy, ito ang nanigawas ang tulog heart. Nibutar gide si ma'am. Atong punan ng uskalibo. Mo ni kita wang kontrasenyas. 
exactly why kung Mark balot sa imo na sang i-invalidate, nobody gets the vote to avoid vote buying. More than marking the ballot. But take note, marking the ballot must be the last resort. Okay, the chances are, kung imo sang i-invalidate or i-mark yung balota, chances are, you might disenfranchise the ballot votes. Kaya posible mga gudang butante, magbinuang lang. Diba? Like for example, may siya idol Robin. May yung kanalong ibutang mga idol. Na Robin Padilla raman niya. Diba? So you might want to say Mark Balot. Actually, that is also your judgment. Kung may yung ka Mark Balot, then it's going to be Mark Balot. Like for example, diba? Panalit, pangalan sa mga kandidato. Kapitan Naa. Dahil tanang punong barangay Naa. Ya kalit lang dun ay magawas nga ibutang talang tanduay. Ano na ay tanduay yun? So that's a Mark Balot. Para mailhan ang butante. Or better yet, pananglit. Rodrigo Roa Duterte ang kandidato. Okay? Sige, isuwat nga Tulukar Rodrigo. Tulukar Roa. Tulukar Tuluka di Duterte. Diba? So, timailhan na siya. That can be a marked ballot. So, we mark a ballot to avoid both buying and both selling. But please make it only as the last resort. Do we follow? Mona marking. So, ang marking sa ballot is you're going to invalidate the entire ballot. Ang stray vote is nasaad lang siya ng vote, kana lang ng vote imong invalidate, but all the others can be counted. Mo na yung diferensya. Now, di ba? Ang ballot appreciation is a matter of discretion. Discretion na din yun. So don't fear, ayaw mo kahadlo ng appreciate mo sa ballots for as long as doon ang may basis under the general instructions. Kanang ballot appreciation. You could say nga, no counted ni siya kay incumbent lang siya. No dili ni siya counted because ang gaaraman siya. Unya mas labawan ang first name ni Musa. So meaning, for as long as nuna kay basis sa imong ballot appreciation, ayaw ka hadlo. Kay inga ni mahitabo. What if dunay ni reklamo or ni protesta kay dunay misappreciation of ballots? Okay? Can they file a case against you? The answer is no. Kay ang election protest is only limited to the winner and the loser. Ang electoral board bawal sa ma-implead sa electoral protest. Di follow. So now, what if ang Pag-file sa protest, mo na sa municipal trial court. Tingin na municipal trial court, sa iyo pang maestra dapat counted siya. No problem because that is just a discrepancy of appreciation. Because if that appreciation by the MTC goes to Comelec, Comelec might say, dili uy, saktong maestra. So na-reverse the board. Then what if ni sa Supreme Court? pag sa Supreme Court, may ingon na po, dili uy, sa iyo pang maestra. Kung inyong tanaw, nagkalain-lain ang ruling. But pasabot, it is because of the differences in how we appreciate the ballot. It is judgment call. It is an exercise of discretion. Kaning discretion, mga good, kaning ang pasabot niya. You can decide either way and still be right. Diba? May yung ka, counted na ako basis. May yung ka, not counted na ako yung basis. Either way, you're right. So ayaw mo kahadlok. Ang iyong kahadlokan is kung inyong tuyoon yun nga in bad faith, inyong in not counted, mas kiklaro kayong accountant. So pananglit simpiat lang, no problem, that's just a discrepancy of opinion. In fact, even your court of appeals can be reversed with the Supreme Court. And even the Supreme Court can reverse itself. Diba? So doon nag yung diferensyas pananaw. So in other words, ayaw mo kahadlok pag-appreciate sa ballots for as long as doon may legal basis under the rules on ballot appreciation. That being said, thank you and good morning.